Well, it's been a while since I've done anything in Besiege, but the other day I heard that cannons now fire automatically when they're heated up. So, forever ago I posted a video about making a, a gun, like it, I call it a machine gun, but it was only a semi-automatic rifle sort of thing, in Besiege. And I said that I had plans to make a better one, and I did at the time, I just, I never got around to it. But, with the new added features, I was able to make this. It's really simple, not that it, like, took me like 20 minutes total to, to think up and make. It is a proper machine gun in Besiege, and it works with Invincible Mode off. It's more reliable with Invincible Mode on, I'll turn it on in a minute just to, to make things work better, but just to show that it does work without it, we'll go really quick. It's a bit finicky, but... Oops, see, there was... it ran into a problem there at the end. This only bends one way completely. The cannons stop it from folding the other way. So, potential solution is stagger the cannons, one on top, one on bottom. Uh, but haven't done that yet. This is just like a Mark I version. But you see it obviously... There we go. It very much works without... Oh, no, it does keep breaking, but I mean, you can go through the entire thing. We'll turn on Invincible Mode now just for the heck of it. Yeah, so all it is is hinges. There's nothing weird with the hinges. It's not like tank tracks where you have to use the, the half the wheels to space them out weird or anything. I don't think there was any weird building techniques used, nothing like glitchy. I might have done like the control Z to get double things on one spot sometimes, but I mean there's nothing weird going on. Yeah, so all it is is like four four little cogs at the bottom that are spaced out by one block and then a couple guides at the top that are spaced out by, by one as well and then one more drive in the top just to, to give it a bit of an extra bit of an extra push. And that's all there is to it. I don't cannons aren't bound to anything. The entire thing is just uh, the top is is tensioned with these two pistons here. So when you when you start it, you hit H and it extends and, and clamps down. It helps if you if you start it a bit just because I didn't make the belt long enough. And then if you don't if you don't disengage that quickly enough, these set on fire. But invincible mode, it doesn't matter. It's definitely possible to not have them set on fire at the end if you just disengage before the belt exits. Um, it only happens when they're they're that close. That's that's really all there is to it. It's a really simple machine. There's a it's all iron construction so that it doesn't set on fire except for the wheels, which I I wish I had a better option for, but I don't. So. I might not make a ton of improvements to this myself, but, uh, you know, now that you see, these are just here for, uh, these ballasts are just here to, to add some extra weight and stability. They didn't actually help that much. I could probably get rid of them. There's a couple things I've thought about and tested, but it's, uh, nothing's really panned out. The biggest problem is this chain is not a very efficient feeding mechanism because there's no way to, to zigzag it back and forth on the screen. Uh, that's efficient. There, there is a way to do it, but it's not. It's not convenient. And I'm okay with a 30 round. Like that's that's about 35 cannons, and it. You can see a couple of them at the beginning here are. They can't get fired, and they fire immediately upon uh, upon starting the simulation. That's kind of unavoidable because you can't have it feed in properly unless I had built a whole other feeding mechanism outside over here, uh, which is just needlessly complicated. It'll fire about 30 rounds at about 600 RPMs at the highest speed, but it takes a minute to spool up. The whole belt on average fires in about 7 seconds. So you can tell that the latter half of that was obviously much faster. One suggestion somebody had was uh, to make wooden blocks in here so that when it, if they fed through the machine they'd set on fire and then fall off instead of bunching up here and like potentially causing jams like they tend to. Uh, but the problem with that is that 
uh, it transfers the fire, like this, this lights them on fire, the cannons heat up and then the block lights on fire. It, it transfers the fire through to these and then they burn and it doesn't work on, on uh, normal mode with invincible mode off. I'm trying to avoid that. I used to use invincible mode a lot, but I mean, you know, where's the fun in that? 